Hey, what's poppin'? Jinbop here. Coming to you guys today with a Minecraft mod. And I actually do mean mod this time, not just a map. Although, actually, I am showing off a map as well. Ooh, a village. But, um, this time I'm gonna be showing off a mod by the name of, uh... Stephanus 3D Gun Mod. This is actually a mod that adds a bunch of really cool guns, which I'm gonna go ahead and show off in the game right here. Right, a bunch of guns that have been added into the game as well as things like reflex sights and silencers and blah blah blah. Um, I thought it was really cool. I, I, I want to show it off a little bit. I, it also includes uh, what, grenades and a knife. So what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and use this map to show off. The map we have here is called DE underscore dust 2, which some of you might be familiar with. This is a map directly imported oh, yeah, that was the reloading sound by the way uh this is a map directly imported from counter-strike global offensive counter-strike source 1.6 whatever you want to call it it's a map that's been around since uh at least like 1999 it's a very very old map but it's a classic and it looks like it's been recreated um here's long and yeah there's a site but um just to show off how the gun works when you right click you can Aim down the sights like this, and left click will cause you to shoot. It will move your crosshair. There is a bit of recoil that you have to adjust to. But um, yeah, for the most part, I think it's really cool. You can also check how much damage it does by mousing over it. It does about 8 points of damage, apparently, and it also tells you how much ammo you have left in the gun. There's no heads-up display that tells you how many bullets are left in the gun, so you kind of just have to guess or open up your inventory and mouse over it. But, um... I was thinking the combination of these maps with these guns might allow you to do some really cool, I don't know, Counter-Strike uh, recreations or something. You and a few of your friends get together and, uh, I don't know, terrorists grab a TNT and some redstone and place it down here or something. And yeah, I, I just thought it'd be really cool to take a look at the guns. And I'm actually going to hop into another map shortly so I can show off the guns more by killing things. But actually, I haven't actually used it. Oh gosh! Oh gosh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I blew up a really big portion of the map. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys are going to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive in Minecraft, please don't use the grenades. Unless you're using it as the TNT in this case. There you go! Bomb site A! Cleared! Terrorists win! Alright, um... But, yeah... What I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to hop into uh, a regular Minecraft world. I'm going to show off how these guns are made because in regular mode you do have to craft them. I spawned them in for the purposes of just showing them off here. But um, yeah, we're going to take a look at them in action and see how they stack up against a couple of mobs. The bomb has been planted. Terrorists win! Ah! Alright, so here we are in a new Minecraft world surrounded by chests. Now, what I have inside these chests are some guns and the means of crafting them, so you guys can see how exactly these guns are made. But, uh, to start off with some of the bigger, most, more important rifles that everyone's probably gonna want, the AK-47 is made by three iron ingots in an L shape like this with a barrel at the end and a lever, which I'm guessing is supposed to be the trigger. An M16 is the exact same layout, only there's one iron ingot on top, and the ASV... The ASVAL, I've never even heard of a gun like that, is also the same layout, except there's two iron ingots on top instead of one. And the M1911 handgun is simply two iron ingots in a row like this, with a barrel and with a lever. And some of you guys are wondering, wait, how do you make a barrel? Uh, a barrel is actually really simple. What you need is three iron ingots in a row, just like that. Just, just like that. That makes a barrel for your gun, and you put the barrel at the end of these iron ingots, and you'll be able to make yourself an AK-47 or any rifle or gun you choose. Um, as for other things that aren't gun-related, you're also going to need a lot of iron. This is a very iron-heavy uh, mod. You can actually make a knife now, which is sort of like a simplified sword with just an iron ingot and a stick. A reflex or an ACOG site or any holographic site, whatever, you, you're also going to need to make in order to construct certain guns like sniper rifles, etc, etc. And you can make that by making an X and an iron ingot, glass on one end and redstone on the other. Uh, it depends on what site you're trying to make, but for the reflex site, or not a reflex, ACOG site in general, this is how it's done. The grenade that I showed earlier, which blew, blew up like half of D-Dust 2, uh, is... 
Iron ingots in a square formation like this with one gunpowder in the center. And ammunition is actually the most uh, tricky part of this because you're going to need a lot of iron for it. Just to make a single magazine of 30 bullets, you're going to need six iron ingots arranged in a diamond formation like this, three by three with one gunpowder in the center. So that's a lot of effort to try and get yourself ammunition, but thankfully for me, I already have a bunch pre-prepared. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a gun, um, let's grab ourselves some pistol ammo, and let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pistol as well. And we are going to test these guns out on some mobs. Alright, as night falls on our little world here, or as I set the time to 1600, or 16,000, we're going to be seeing some enemy mob spawn shortly, and let's go ahead and uh, dispatch them in... Uh, Go ahead and reload these guns first. That's the noise it makes when it reloads, by the way. It makes that little box open. Ooh, this one's already loaded. Come at me, bro! Cut, cut. What? They do not seem to care at all. Maybe they're afraid of... Are they afraid of me? <laughs> Even the creeper's not blowing up. Well, suit yourselves. Actually, I know why. All right, I'm ready. Ha ha! Ha ha! Now it's a battle for survival, except I'm already running out of bullets quite quickly. Ow! Where'd you come from? All right, well, let's go ahead and check out some other guns. Just using the AK all night is no fun. Uh, game mode one. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this M14, which uses sniper ammo. As you guys have seen, I replaced it in my inventory. Ow, leave me alone, you stupid spider. There we go. So let's go ahead and try out this M14 sniper rifle. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Okay, this is awkward. Uh, I'm gonna have to shoot at something far away. How far does it zoom in? This zooms it pretty decently. All right, um, a target far away. Target far away. Target, hello, Mr. Enderman. Oh, that's some really heavy recoil. I can't even hit him. I, I get, did I hit him? Did I kill him? Well, it killed the, it killed the skeleton, Jesus. 20 damage, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that shot killed him. Dang, this sniper is crazy. It's... Oh, jeez. Don't try to use it while walking, though. Actually, let's see if I can get a shot while walking. Ugh. It's possible, but it's very, very ungainly and it's very, very difficult. Um, What other weapons do we have to play around with here? Game mode 2. Alright, as you guys can see, I got myself a minigun, a shotgun, and a rocket-propelled grenade. So, oh, I have to load these first. So uh, I set myself back in the game mode too. Let's see how many things we can kill and how long we can survive in the night with these weapons. I, I wish they would load. P please load. P please load. Please. Please. Please load. Alright. I think it's loaded. Alright. First things first. God! That was... I should not have done that. Alright, let's try that one more time without blowing ourselves up into oblivion. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the minigun is like. Uh, apparently they, the bullets come in batches of 64, so... Ooh. Basically like a rifle, I suppose. Although it, it... I don't think it shoots any faster, but it certainly does feel like it's a bit stronger. Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit scared of having the RPG out because I don't. I. I. I All right, I found a good target. If I could just reload, reload, please, reload. There we go. All right, I found a suitable target, one that's not gonna blow me to smithereens. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Whoa, that's cool. I like that. I like this mod. I'm having fun with it. I like blowing things up. Yeah. Fire. 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 Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's see if I can just go one video without any crazed laughter. Anyways, this is the Remington M4. 
four seven this is the shotgun let's just put it that way let's see how the shotgun does i can't aim down the sights on the shotgun so it looks like ooh Whoa, very, very heavy recoil, but a lot of damage too, it looks like. Um, it looks like it's a weapon that you just get up in their face and pop them as hard as you can. Um, it's not really a weapon that you can aim like the other ones. Get out of here. I'm here. I'm not even afraid of you anymore. Here we go. Ow! Here. Yeah! God damn it! Where are you, Ender Butt? Yeah! Ouch. Stop shooting me! Stop! Uh oh. This is actually kind of bad. I'm about to die! I'm not very good at guns! Oh! The Enderman got me. Anyways, guys, I think that's all the guns in the game that I can really show off. If you guys like this video, you like this commentary, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helped me out. Love to see you guys again in future videos. Um, what kind of video was this? I wouldn't really call it a mod showcase, but it's it's showing off a mod, kind of, ish, things. But, um, anyways, originally the reason I was trying to do this video was because I was looking for a way to feasibly recreate Counter-Strike in uh minecraft because i'm actually going to be having a uh counter strike video coming out your guys this is way the the language i'm actually gonna be having a counter strike video come out your guys' way soon and uh i thought that'd be a good segue to do it in minecraft first but um all i could really find was the gun mod and the d dust 2 map which is kind of a cool way to play counter strike in minecraft if you so feel inclined to with your friends or something but, um, if you guys know of a full conversion mod that actually turns Minecraft into Counter-Strike, go ahead and let me know. I would love to do a video on it. But, um, until then, you guys, thanks again for watching. I got more, uh, goodness, comedy, video, gaming stuff coming out your way soon. Most likely in the form of Counter-Strike. But until then, you guys, thanks again for watching. Goodbye.